Howdy folks and welcome back to the Nature Photography Show. In this video we're going to talk about the Leo Photo Ranger LS 255 CEX Travel Tripod. So recently I was in the Grand Teton National Park and I decided I wanted to do some from the field videos. Hopefully you've seen them already. If not, then go check out the channel. You'll be able to find them there. And I needed a second tripod. I have my really right stuff that I use for all of my actual photography work. And I wanted something that would be light enough that I would actually carry it because if it's big and bulky and heavy, it'll stay in the car and then I won't be doing any videos. So I wanted something light but sturdy and it, it's hard to get all of that in a tripod and not pay a lot of money for it. So I was a little bit in shock with the 469 MSRP on it, but honestly, since it came with the ball head, the 469 wasn't that bad considering what you get in this little tra travel tripod. So as mentioned, it is the Leo Photo Ranger LS 255 CEX. I love how all of that just rolls right off the tongue and it's really easy to remember. You don't have to write it down and try to memorize it a hundred times before you do a video. So thanks Leo Photo for that. All right, so what are some features that stood out to me right away with this tripod? Honestly, the first thing I saw is, oh, it's got a leveling base. I've never used a leveling base and I thought, what in the world would I even need this for? I'm an old school photographer, I don't need all of this fancy stuff. And then I used it in the field one time and I, I would love to have a leveling base on all of my tripods, mainly because I like to do a lot of panel work and it just makes it super easy. So a leveling base, just a little switch here, and then the entire ball head moves. And you've got a little level here, so you, you level that up, there you go, then you tighten it back down, and then you've got a level up here, or you can use the one in the camera. So you level the base, level the camera, and you can do panel work real easy. But it also works great for video work because you can get where you need to be right away and you don't want the video to be sideways like that. That would be really annoying to watch. And I'm going to refer back to my document here because, well, I can't remember all of this stuff. I'm, I'm old. Give me a break. So it is super light, carbon fiber. It is 3.17 pounds, which means I'll actually carry it with me. It, it fits down in my Shimoda Action X50 real easy. I put it down with the, the ball head in the pouch and then it just cinches right up against it. And honestly, I, I hardly even notice that I have it, which is just great to be able to go out, do some hiking, walk in a little bit, and then be able to pull this out and do some work with it. It's max height. This is what really drew me to it when I was in the store. I was able to extend all the legs. It does not have a center column, which I hate center columns, so I'm glad it doesn't. But I was able to extend all the legs and it put the top plate here equal with my eye, which means when I have a camera on it, I'm gonna to have to actually lower it a little bit. Now that means this thing is really, really tall. Uh, I wouldn't say really tall. I'm only five foot ten, but keep that in mind. The idea of a, some travel tripods where you extend it and then you have to spend your whole time hunched over to do photos or videos, that didn't appeal to me at all. So when I extended this and found that it was equal to my eyes, that was another big selling point for me because then I knew I could get the height that I needed to be comfortable and to be able to do the video, eye level video without having a center column because on a, a center column on a tripod, I always call a three-legged monopod. It's not really a tripod at that point. But anyway, this is a five section carbon fiber legs and it is really smooth. And I like the fact that I can grab it, twist them all, extend it, and it's really, 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 really smooth to do. And then you lock them back down real easy. So it's easy to deploy, it's tall, it's light, it's compact, and because of all of those features, I picked it up at the Wyoming Camera Outfitter in Jackson. So I wanna talk a little bit about them just a second. They're not sponsoring the show or anything, but I wouldn't say no. 
anyway, it's a, it's a nice little camera store that is in Jackson, Wyoming. You can go in and, and talk to Travis, he runs the place, or Isaac Spots. If you don't know Isaac, check him out on Instagram, Isaac Spots. He is a phenomenal wildlife photographer that is based out of the Grand Tetons. He also works there a bit, and he's, he's really young, which can be very frustrating to old people when you look at the work that he's producing at 20 something years old and it's just, it's amazing. So definitely go check out Isaac and the Wyoming Camera Outfitters if you happen to be in Jackson. Now let's talk about some other features. Again, I have to write it all down. The leveling base, which we talked about, carbon fiber, independent leg spread. I like that because each leg you can extend almost flat, look at that. It gets down to like six inches, I think it is, with the with the head on it. But you just it just clicks back into place as you go down. So you can make the legs wider or however whatever you want to do with it there. I like that if it's really windy or something like that and you want to extend it or if you want to get a little bit lower but still have that stability, you can do that. Now I did pick this up for video, so I may or may not trade out this ball head. It's the LH36 ball head. I may trade it out for a fluid head, but I haven't made that decision yet because this little ball head is phenomenal. It's got nice big knobs, easy to manipulate, and it locks down solid. So when you lock it down, you don't have any of that creep that you sometimes see in a cheap tripod heads, for example. You'll lock it down and it'll go eek, or it'll go off to the side, or it'll do something stupid like that, and then you have to do all kinds of crazy stuff to get it level, and it'll just drive you crazy. This doesn't do that. You lock it down, it stays locked. It's also got a tension knob, and then you can turn it at the bottom there if you like to do pano work. So overall, I think it's a, a great little tripod head, especially since it came with it. And for all of this, for 469 was not a bad deal at all, and easy to carry, so it's always with me now. It does have the 3 8 inch mounting stud on it for any, if you want to take this off and put something else on, you can do that. Now the leveling base is part of the tripod. So you can take off the tripod head, but the leveling base will remain. Uh, max height we've talked about, minimum height 6.57 inches. Folded length is 21 inches. Uh, and the weight, the max load is 13.23 pounds which is really good to note because the largest camera and lens setup that I have is a Nikon Z9 and the Nikon 100 to 400, uh, 4.5 to 5.6 lens. And so if I'm not doing video work and I'm taking this into the field as a hiking tripod because it's super light, so if I'm going on a longer hike, then I might want to not take the really right stuff. So I wanted to make sure that the tripod was sturdy enough and could maintain the weight for the largest setup that I have. So that's the largest setup I have and it holds it just fine. Now with the legs like this and fully extended, to me it makes me a little bit nervous with the amount of weight that's on top when I have the Z9 and the 100 to 400. I have no indication that it's gonna tip over, but I'm a little paranoid. So that kind of scares me a little bit so I probably wouldn't use it a lot for actual work in the field for photography, at least not with that big setup. But if I did, I would just stay close, keep my hand on it. I'm probably being overly paranoid, so I wouldn't, wouldn't worry about that too much if this is something you're interested in. But it does hold that weight just fine, and it is rock solid. So even though it's five sections, I was worried about it being a little bendy and all that kind of stuff. But when you extend it, you put that weight on it, you can push down on it, it does not give, it doesn't bend. This is a phenomenal little tripod. And not too bad a price. I, yeah, not too bad. All right, so I'm gonna talk about some pros and cons. I actually don't have very many cons, so let me talk about that first. It comes with a case. That case I left in the Grand Teton National Park in the garbage can. It's a nice case, but I have no idea why. Let me know in the comments below. Do you carry your tripod in a tripod case or do you get it and then toss it? Because that seems like a little bit waste of a money, a waste of some money there that could maybe not include the case and lower the price a little bit. And honestly, there's not much else 
that I don't like about this little tripod. It is fantastic. Oh, it also does come with uh, spikes if you want to trade out the feet for spikes. And it comes with this neat little, this neat little tool here. I think it's also a bottle opener, but it can clip on to anywhere on your bag or your clothes or whatever. And it's got different Allen keys in it, some small ones for anything that you might have on the tripod. And I find that extremely useful actually to be able to uh, make any repairs in the field or if something gets loose you can quickly make that adjustment. I always have some tools in my bag so to be able to have this nice and compact that's that's pretty neat addition. All right so the pros very lightweight uh, extends high enough for me to extend it all the way out and not have to bend over. Uh, no center column, Arca Swiss style plate. So I want to make sure to mention that. So if you have a really right stuff L bracket or any of the Arca Swiss stuff, then it will fit. And it does come with a plate if you happen not to have one at all. But it works just fine. And it's a little twist down to it. The leveling base, uh, perfect to carry as a second tripod. Comes with a convenient tool, comes with spikes. The twist lock legs are smooth and easy to operate. So super smooth, super easy. The really right stuff that I have is a little more difficult to, to work, but the fact that I can grab all of these, pull them out and twist them back, that makes it fast and easy to deploy. And the LH36 ball head that it comes with is a great little ball head. Again, I might trade it out for a fluid head, don't know. All right, so that is the Leo Photo Ranger LS 255 CEX travel tripod. Light, sturdy, tall, convenient, and what I'll use for video. So if you like this video, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, ring the little bell, and as always, grab your camera, get off the couch, escape, explore, and create.